well, welcome to Terraria 1.3. And well, while you may not be able to tell that it is 1.3 right after that, you'll be able to tell because of that happening. <laughs> That will that just kind of, that just kind of tells you that it is 1.3. So as you can see, yes, this is. I'm keeping to my word. I'm recording in 1.3. So because this is an update I have been waiting for for a long time. I just saw. Okay, guide, what are you doing? I want to know what you do. Okay, you shoot a bow. That's that. That's actually a bit better. Also, that slot. Okay, did not realize expert mode made it so that way things had more health. <laughs> oh, hey. Neat. The color of the coins drops. Now in the text. Makes it much better than just what it was before. So yeah, this is an expert level world. I thought I'd just try to get out first, see whether or not I could even make a single night. To get through a single night. And just from how it, how difficult it is to kill a slime. I'm starting to think that maybe I shouldn't. In fact, I think I will be right back after I do okay, make Yeah, this. welcome back. Uh, it switched over to the non-expert <laughs> world. Because I had created two in two so that way, just in case something like that happened. Originally, I thought it was just that things got an AI update in the uh, expert mode. But no, apparently it's a lot deadlier. And I'm actually kind of glad that they actually thought about that. Oh, that's a wand of sparking. Huh, that's already a new item. <laughs> I'm a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh. Probably would help if I had loot all of that. I'm starting to notice that there's a lot of textural up. Okay. A part of me wants to play play it on this. No, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play it on this first. Then I'll make another character to do on expert mode. Once I complete the game on the normal mode. The reason why I'm saying that is so that way a, I'm just not like, oh, this is too easy. Because that's, it feels a little bit easier on this mode. This new weapon is actually kind of cool though. Because that, that, that originally you didn't get a magic weapon until at least you broke one orb, or until you got some gems, and that could take how who knows how long just to do that. Okay. The more I see of this up, of what? Oh wow, that set that on fire. <laughs> and it only uses two mana. Yeah, I really... I've been looking forward to this update. And now that it's here... It's amazing. Because, <laughs> honestly, there's a lot of texture updates that I've seen. There's already a new weapon I found within, like... Only a little bit, and it's actually a pretty nice one. <laughs> Well, I know if there's more wands. A 
also you may notice that uh, the clothing that my character is wearing is different. That's not armor. That's just the default choice that they made available. But also taking a look at... I'm just kind of looking at what all this stuff is. Because there's a, a lot of stuff that I don't... I know it's new, but I'm not sure what exactly it is. Equipment. Pet, light pet, minecart, mount, and grab. So I can just have a minecart equipped. That's interesting. Oh, great, that's the wrong tool. <laughs> even gone that far into this update and it's already so freaking cool and it's kind of hard for me to just contain myself because it's sort of like hey there's all this new stuff and it actually is genuinely new huh. yes I know Sunny out and there's I'm cutting down trees. Oh, and the gel is even the color of the slime until you pick it up. I'm just I'm just this will probably just be a lot of me just being like, oh wow, this is all this is so cool. But I don't care. I'm genuinely just like I actually, I'm actually enjoying this more than I thought I would. Cause this was a it was just this game is just a pleasant to play. Plus, it just brings so like some people would go like, oh yeah, this bring like playing it. Minecraft, playing the early Minecraft brings back so memories. Playing this game brings back so memories, so many memories of good times. Especially, you know, just mistakes that were made. <laughs> Already got an anvil. I also like how there's now a uh, shadow of what you're gonna place. That's also a new thing. Okay. I need a hammer. And I've already gotten like six of the achievements. Before I started recording, I will say this. I had somehow gotten the achievement for having collected the life fruit. And I'm not exactly sure how. So, uh, I think that's something that I will let the developers know. Because that does make it so that way progressed up. I'm, it may have just been because I had another character who had collected life fruit and eaten it. But who knows. What's odd is that I had deleted them before the update. Finish this house off, and then I may start some mining operations. It's also much darker. You should probably get in this house, too. Okay, anyways, off I go to explore the mines and probably die. Oh, right now they really aren't mines, they're just more caverns and caves.
What is that? What the? Okay then! <laughs> I'm just gonna question it. Oh yeah, something I did notice is that at the world creation screen, the tree, there's like a tree symbol now that has a regular green tree and then I believe a tree of whatever the other, like the evil biome is. And I, it was a crimson, and it did have crimson leaves on the other side, so that just means that my idea that what it shows when it's generating the world is, whichever biome it is, is the biome that you're going to wind up having. Which is kind of neat to, that you can see which ones you're going to get. Makes it much easier than just having to sift through hundreds of worlds. Just to find one. Go, water! Get out of the way! I need to do it. I need to place a torch. So that way I can see and don't get murdered. Well, because I can't see a darn thing. I'm just noticing all these little changes that they've made, and I'm just. Just cool seeing all the changes. Was it, there's been a, there's definitely a, a lot of UI overhauls that they pulled. Ow! Goodness, I am. Ben! Okay. Anyways, it needs to. Okay, no, I can't do it that way. I have to do it this way. I need to check what, how much time I've spent. Oh. Only ten minutes into actually playing the game. I mean, technically I was playing for like about a minute or two on the expert world, but I'd rather not do that until I... I'm out of torches! I think I was about to drown. That would have been a horrible way to continue through the start of a series. I do intend to go back to that world later, though. Once I actually have a means of... Well, maybe not survival, but with another character. Also, it seems like... The Wait, this... Oh, this weapon doesn't actually work underwater. That's actually very interesting. Oh, wait, no, it does. Never mind, I'm just making stuff up. I just thought it didn't, because I was just shooting at it. I didn't see the thing. Yeah. Am I in skeleton depth? Miner shack actually looks like a building. And Hermes boots. Uh, this is the first thing I get. Also get more gold. I have gotten a lot of gold. It also does look like a, an abandoned building. Probably should have grabbed that. I figure I'll go 20 minutes. Well, actually, you probably won't notice it because I'll be I'll be doing like yeah, I'll go 20 minutes. I won't split the video. Oh, like you have cutoffs, but I will say 
like say some a few words of like, oh yeah, this is gonna be the end of part one. And see you guys in the next video and whatever. But honestly, it would be much easier for me to just do the splitting up. Just have one video and then splitting it up into segments rather than having to go through all the trouble of... Ooh, Emerald. Okay, I'm gonna... Pro I'm probably... Oh wait, before I drown... Eh, Fallen Star. Let me out of the door. <laughs> Close the bird itself. Alright, and before I forget, I need to make it that way. There are ramps. Okay. Zambi. Zambi! I already got a second. <laughs> well, I'm just getting really lucky, apparently. Where did I get that one hand? Oh, wait, no, that's where I got it. I didn't get it from anywhere, I just had it. Bye, zombie! I just heard you die. Thanks for the money. Hey, thank you for your. Well. I need to store all this money so that way I don't lose it from dying like an idiot. Become a complete idiot. Something covered. I do like how the guy can actually actually ha is useful instead of it just being. Oh, I'm the guy. I just sit around and get murdered because I can't do anything. Now he can actually help you murder stuff. I mean, you're not supposed to have him help you kill stuff. But you can. And because he does help, I can do, do stuff like go out and... Right outside of the house and mine stuff. And that's just cool. Okay. Closing that door. Okay, I need to get you out of here. I really want to know what the other ones do. I can't, I can't, I definitely want to know what the, what the merchant does. Whether or not he like throws. There's a. Uh... Well, I'm not sure what he would throw. Oh yeah, gold coins. Just throw copper coins at the enemy until they die. That would be kind of funny to watch. Okay, that was a bit of a mistake. I mean, for that to be a pit. Okay, wooden platforms. It's also nice that you get more wooden platforms per... per a uh, wood plank. Burn, burn! It definitely is nice having a slightly ranged weapon this early. May not be best ranged weapon, but it's something. Wooden yo-yo. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I just want to know what this does. I do also like how the ingots look different. Now. Okay, that's cool. I'm not sure how it does it, but whatever. It's 
It's actually a pretty good early weapon. Considering that that one's made of wood. Can I make a copper? Nope. I can only make wooden yo-yos. So, one second. Eight yo-yo! I'm not exactly sure what my character technically is. Because he's got a yo-yo, but he's also got a wand. There's a lot more early weapons that you can make. Also, I got goggles. I mean, I could make a bucket, but I'd rather not waste the iron. Get, go on, get out of here! <laughs> a part of me wants to think that they're more like a better flail, but I know that's not the case. Whoops. Accidentally killed something. Okay. Let's go up and up. And... I'm gonna do that. That is also nice. Seriously, that's nice because now I can just have a hatch that instead of... You can make underground houses much easier without having the risk of, of zombies breaking in. Right, I have to uh, open it. I also need to check it to see if that... Okay, good. It's still valid. Wasn't sure if it made it invalid. I definitely won't be able to place anything on it like I would if it's a plank, but it makes it that way I can keep someone like the nurse safe. Actually... Yeah, you can't place anything on it. Okay, just making sure. Right, I'm gonna have to build a little bit differently. For now, this will just be the base of the house. and the of the merchant and what's his and the guide Cody Cody gets to live here because now he's more than just the oh this is what you can use this for I should probably see to make sure that there isn't anything any secret recipes that I can do right now that would actually probably be a good idea Second time check. I really need a timer that isn't in game. And it looks like this will be a good marker. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching the first episode on our journey through the world of the 1.3 update of Terraria. This has been Cavalis, and I will see you all sometime soon. Goodbye.